Now, keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. Well, if you look outside right now, it's gorgeous out there. A little, yeah. uh, little too humid mm -hmm. for my liking. Mm -hmm. But uh, this morning, wow, much different story. Probably many of you are waking up at some odd hour of mm -hmm. the night with the stormy weather. <laughs> this is what it looked like at 1 o'clock this morning. I took this video just with my iPhone. You could see the storms oh, blowing man. in. It's <laughs> lucky you made it in, George. I know. It looks like a hurricane. This was wind of about 60 miles an hour. And I, I, I kind of got in this area because I, I knew the wind was going to be pretty strong. I did see some tree limbs that were down. This mm -hmm. was in South Broken Arrow, somewhat near the Creek Turnpike and the Super Walmart that direction. There were mm. trash cans uh, blown over in my neighborhood when I was driving out, dodging some trash. May need to go <laughs> relocate those later today. <laughs> yeah. Well, today they're going to end up in Kansas because now we have a strong south wind. I do want to show you some of the storm pictures. This is a tornado, quote, on the ground from the Milan family. This was Highway 169 just south southwest of Nawada. The condensation funnel isn't completely visible, but it is touching the ground here. The National Weather Service will be surveying this area for damage. In fact, there was some damage from this particular tornado. We also had tornadoes at night. This is looking north of Nawada. It's hard to see, but right in here, it appears that there is a tornado on the ground. And this is another area the National Weather Service will be taking a look at this afternoon. Much quieter weather is ahead, thankfully. Our temperature is warming up 79 at lunchtime, 84 at 3, and 85 degrees by 5 p.m. with plenty of wind. If you haven't been outside yet, well, you're going to be in for a surprise. The wind has certainly picked up from this morning. Right now, sitting at 77 degrees with a mix of sunshine and clouds. And as Dina said, it's kind of humid out there. South wind now at 24 miles an hour. Around the rest of green country, we've all warmed up since the 50s and 60s this morning. We were rain cool this morning. Felt kind of nice around sunrise. 73 Bartlesville, 72 in Coffeyville, Tahlequah, 71, 74 Old Mulgee. A little cooler down toward McAllister, where the temperature is at 70. As far as the wind, it is from the the south. Wondering if the weather equipment got damaged there in Bartlesville because I'm going to guess that the wind speed is a little higher than zero miles an hour. But generally, we're seeing winds between 10 and 25 miles an hour across green country. As far as the rain, we'll take a look at Viper 2 HD. And about the only rain we can find is in far northeastern Oklahoma. This is near Nawada, and this is weakening. This is also some of the same areas that the National Weather Service will be looking for storm damage. Their first stop today is going to be in the Welch area in northern Craig County. Then they're going to backtrack to the west out toward the Nawada area and west of Nawada. They're also going to look north of Nawada. So that's what the National Weather Service told us earlier today. And later this afternoon, they probably will confirm that there was at least two, if not more, tornadoes last night. Quieter weather is ahead. Could see a few strong storms out toward West Texas and also to our north near Kansas City. But otherwise, we're going to see drier weather for the next few days. This afternoon, warming nicely. We are seeing a warming trend. 85 the high today, south wind of 15 to 30 miles an hour. Temperatures lower 80s for highs toward Grove, 82 into Joplin, 85 in Tulsa, and mid 80s toward Stillwater and McAllister. For tonight, most of the storms which develop should be staying to our west. So not as much rain around green country. Low tonight in the upper 60s. We're going to start a string of very warm nights, very humid as well. This means our morning temperatures near sunrise will be near 70 degrees each day. The seven-day forecast shows a warming trend. Highs in the upper 80s for Thursday and Friday. Heat index could be an issue, could be feeling like the lower 90s as we move toward the weekend. And we don't see any huge rain chances on any one particular day in the forecast. Also, with the tornado warnings last night, we had hailstones in the storms, and that is quarter size hail from Pascal Van Skindel. A little later in the news, we will show you more video of the tornadoes from last night. Mm. Tornadoes, hail, uh, a lot of damaging stuff <laughs> last night for sure. We'll take the quieter weather ahead. Yes, yeah. we will. Thanks, Thanks George. George. Well, big